Hello. Hello, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. I'll just wait for one, two minutes. So it's four and um, I think we should start the session. So hi, uh, my name is Saradhya Sengupta and I am a senior counselor at Divide International. Uh, hope all of you are keeping well. So today I would like to talk about uh, tips to improve your applications for USA. So before I start, I would like to thank all of you to join today's session. And please feel free to ask any questions at the end of the session. So USA do have more than 4,000 universities as we know and uh, about the quality of education everybody knows about it. So the demand of applications, the type of applications what they get, the quality of students what they get is really high so the applications become competitive. So how to uh, make our application more better so that we can get a better ad, uh, admission. So we are going to talk about it today. Now different universities have different requirements of scores, documents, uh, they have different application process and deadlines also differs from one another. Now the point is that for undergraduation and the postgraduation, it also have different timeline. It also have different requirements. So we have to like keep everything in mind beforehand. We have to have all the documentations, everything prepared beforehand so that we can submit the applications on time. So that is a very, very important uh, point for USA application to be successful. Okay. So because the number of applications what they receive is huge and to be one of the admitted student you have to be on time so for that the first thing is that that you have to finalize your program you have to be sure which program you're going to apply much early because every course do have a different requirement like engineering they require for master's engineering it requires GRE for the business courses requires GMAT. Many of the G, uh, business courses like finance they can accept a GRE also. So it all depends on your time, your uh, like how you are comfortable writing the examinations, figuring out at the university. So it takes a lot of time. Now coming to the point of course. Now for undergraduation students, I would say that many of the students uh, do have some uh, like what to say like they are a bit confused sometimes that which course to select now in on this note i would say that advice do have uh, app service also so which is a psychometric test which helps students to identify their uh, their strength okay the liking of the program so they may have two different uh, programs or courses which they are interested but we will help you to identify that which one is more suitable for you so you can always be in touch with us to get this help now once the program is selected so now i know that i want to go for say example a master's in computer science or i want to go for bachelor's in uh, like business administration so i know which program i want to start i want to do in my uh, future for my future now what will i do i will figure out that what are the examinations we need for getting admission into that particular program so again advice is going to identify that for you and will help you out to process uh, like to help you out with the uh, preparation also so we do have preparations for sat we have preparations for gre gmat english proficiencies like toefl we have um, ielts pt as well so we have all sort of guidance for you so that you don't have to go different places and look after so we will guide you up for the coaching as well so the thing is that you have to start preparation of your coaching much much earlier reason being if you are starting at the end point you will need at least three months of time period to prepare for your sat for your gre for your gmat so if you are not starting early you may not catch the date okay 
very important point for an under graduation student because SAT doesn't happen every month. So you have to book your examination date a month back of the actual examination date. So if it is a May SAT, you have to complete the admi admission, uh, like uh, you have to book the date by 4th of April. If it is October, you have to book the date by the first week of September, like that. The same thing for December also, first week of November. So the deadline to book the date is one month prior for the undergraduation SAT. So you have to be prepared for that. And my suggestion would be SAT sometimes uh, it is a one day examination so it may happen that the student is not happy with the score what they have received they may write, need to write or they may uh, they, they may plan to write again so my suggestion would be if you apply if you start your preparation early for SAT what happens that you can catch up the previous year December SAT or the May SAT so in case the SAT you're not happy with you always have the October SAT with you so you can have to this both of the SAT scores here also I would say that I would suggest that always for the SAT you like try to give your best in the first SAT because many of the universities are there who will take the, the best score of the two. Some universities will take the latest one and many of the universities also will take the average of two. So you have to like it is better always to give your best shot and to prepare three months prior than that okay now coming to the point of so ad, ad, application like uh, we we are done with the uh, selection of the programs we are done with the examinations required now the point comes that which are the universities we are going to apply so again once you come to us come to advise with your re, uh, desired uh, the program and your scores what you have received we will help you out to identify you the universities which are suitable okay so we will give you a list of universities which will have a ambitious university list which will have moderate as well as the safer universities which will help you to uh, at least get the like definitely get the admission we will also help you with the scholarships because we have many institutions providing scholarships you can see, check in our like it is mentioned in our uh, website also that we have students who have got almost 100% scholarship. So definitely we can help you with the, that also. Here I would say uh, I would like to mention another point that applying early is very important for the matter of scholarship because scholarship is something which there is nothing uh, you don't need to apply separately mainly for USA right so you your application main application is taken as scholarship application okay so I would say that once you are having the uh, like once you are having that um, uh, application done on time you it will be better for you to uh, like it will be always better that you uh, give it on time and you write it on time. It is always better that your application have all the documentations what requires submitted within the time in that case, right? Okay, now coming to the point of applications. Now, how we when we apply to them, we need a set of documents. Now, what sort of documents do we need? We need for undergraduation, we need a, a set of documents. For postgraduation, we have a different set of documents, right? For undergraduation, we also need to understand that there are uh, like common applications and a direct applications, okay? So every university do have different sort of application process. Now, whichever will come under early applications uh, and uh, sorry, common applications, they have three different deadlines. Now, what are the three different deadlines? that is early decision uh, regular decision and early action now early decision deadlines is the first deadlines when the student needs to submit their applications and with the required documentation within that uh, given time and which is mainly by october mid october end and they will definitely get the decisions from those universities by december that year so we basically start our applications for usa one year prior so for example if a student is applying for september 2022 we will start the application rather we have started the application by september october 2021 that is one year prior 
so one year prior the student needs to be prepared with all these documentations and the required examinations now coming back to the point of common application now what happens to the common application there are steps okay so it is a portal okay people who do not know about it common app is a portal through which we can apply to different different application like university applications right so what happens that once you are um, applying uh, suppose you are applying to one university and you want to apply to that university for sure and your uh, your requirements is matching with the university requirements so you can apply for early decision now early decision is something which is the most uh, like what to say like it is a it is a this application where you are mentioning or you are applying because you want to seriously go to that university only now here there are options like binding and non binding applications for early decision so we always suggest students based on their profile whether to go for early decision or whether to go for early action and regular decision so it depends on the student's profile and we will help the student to identify whether whichever deadlines we should catch okay now coming to the point of documents for undergraduation we need a very strong sop now for common application again there are four topics given to the student and you have to write about it it has nothing to do with your education education always so the topics may be something like an, an incident which has changed your life or which has motivated you something like completely different so it will help you to check and figure out that like they will understand what is your ability to express yourself so that is very important for an undergraduation uh, sop for common app now once you are done with the common app essay every institute will have short 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 questions and paragraphs which will be asked about that why you are applying for certain university like that university why this program maybe something about the course curriculum they will check what you have already done so this is something which will come at the same time apart from the main sop of uh, common app now coming to the point of uh, how you can improve your application so this is one thing is that your sop and your writing should be very strong second thing you should appoint a counselor so what is counselor counselor is something someone who is going to be a teacher a referee basically from your school okay it is not the counselor how we help it is from the school you should have a counselor who should like every application will need that person's reference so suppose you are applying for bba so it is better that you take a a, a, a teacher who is a commerce to teacher or a someone who takes a business class or the a main teacher or maths teacher who can be your referee or a Uh, counselor and also you have to keep in mind the counselor should be someone who you can reach out easily because if you are not reaching out easily uh, it could be difficult because you will be applying to multiple number of universities and each and every time the counselor needs to reply to that referee uh, response now the point is that if it is not happening your application will become incomplete so you have to priorly it's like starting your application you have to have a verbal confirmation with your teacher that every institute is going to send out the referee <laughs> request and they have to reply to that okay now coming to the point of documents you basically will need documents of your 10th mark sheet your 11th mark sheet and your predicted score when you will apply for an undergraduation i'll come to the uh, post graduation after completion of this undergraduation now coming to the point of undergrad these three are the important things apart from your uh, english proficiency and sat examination scores and your passport now once you submit your application do not delay and immediately report your scores so you have your either you have your toefl or uh, the sat sat is from college board uh, toefl is from ets and if it is uh, you can have different english proficiency other than this also but each and every score has to be reported to the university through the official partner okay once it is getting reached to them then the profile and the complete the procedure is complete for your application so it is always better that at a stretch do not delay with in any of these points another thing once you are done with all these steps 
the very importantly each and every institute is going to send out emails along with the id password of your own student portal now you have to log into the student portal and check it like alternated days or you check it in three days once because this is very important until and unless you are checking and the to-do list is complete your application is going to be incomplete so it is very important to check the to-do list in the student portal okay now <clears throat> this is more or less all about the us uh, the undergrad application one more thing i would like to say uh, that for students suppose the student is going for some course like social work or sociology or psychology now in these cases if the student do have some extracurricular activities and social work done with a certificate it helps students now any one important thing that in the common application there is a place there is a column there is the section where you have to add your extracurricular activities now this is very very important so for undergraduation do not think that you you you, know, you, you just have something like done in your school and there is nothing to put no you have to put each and everything what you have done even if it is for uh, like for a month you have done for two months you have done but still you should put because these things add values to your portal your profile okay so if you have done some social work if you have taught someone like from the slum children's if you have done something like that or if you have done some magazine work if you have some sports everything you should mention whatever you have done it makes your profile more stronger okay now coming to the point of a masters now masters we know that you either have to write a gre for the uh, stem programs and the for business you need a gmat now coming to the point of uh, an other every other like arts and other programs also will need english proficiency as a mandatory requirement now coming to the point of start of your application it's same as undergraduation you have to start your application one year prior so it is by october november you have to complete your applications it is better to complete yes many of the universities uh, for masters uh, will open their applications by november first week second week so whenever you have to keep a track and whenever the application gets open it is better to submit it on time so that you also get your like you also get your decision early okay uh, and so you can prepare your financials also okay now coming to the point of uh, the statement of purpose we will help you out with the formats of the letter of recommendations we will help you the formats with statement of purpose we guide students for editing also so you do not have to worry it is just that key whenever we will ask you to do step by step you have to complete the things on time that is all and the rest we will take care of now coming to the point of statement of purpose in this case here you have to write that why are you applying for this particular program and it is something as you are applying for a masters this programs should add something to your profile it is not something that suddenly i wish and i am doing it so it will not help you to make your profile look strong so you have to do something which is relevant to your profile which will help you for your father uh, like your future now in the sop also you have to mention basically that particularly this university why you are applying it is better to mention some course curriculums it is better to mention about if you have done some research on the professors if you have done some research that what are the projects going on for that particular program particular university you can write on it you can write about the alumni sometimes you can write about uh, as i say the professors and their backgrounds so these things but not elaborately minute like small small points you can make mention because these things will help the university to understand that you have done a thorough research on the university and you are literally looking out for that particular uh, school so this helps you a lot apart from that letter of recommendations again it's the same process either it will go as a scanned copy but mostly it is online submission which helps and here an important point us universities generally wants to get letter of recommendations from the email ids 
like from the official email IDs, not the normal like the personal email IDs like Gmail, Ymail, and all this. They basically want the institutional email ID. So whenever you are getting the letter of recommendations, so try to get the recommendation recommenders uh, like the official email ID when you are applying. Mention those email IDs only. Now, uh, we uh, the applications once done again the same points to do list. This is also important for the post-graduation student until and unless your to-do list is complete, your work is not done for the applications and score reporting is very important. So these things need to be get done like done by the time. Okay. Now because of the pandemic situation, there are many institutes who uh, were who were not who were accepting the applications previously without the SAT or uh, ACT or GRE GMAT. But in mean, meanwhile, when the things were normalized, they again started asking for the SAT and the GRE GMAT. But many of the universities currently again are not asking and they are waving it off. So try to take that advantage and try to apply. To as like as soon as possible before they change their uh, requirements apply as soon as possible for the fall 2022 intake okay we still have time now most of the universities still do have their applications open so we have to apply as soon as possible so reach out to the advice branches uh, whatever like the nearest branches and we all all the branches are working and uh, if you want to have online uh, counseling session done you can contact the nearest branch online you can e write email and also you have the we do have the uh, i meet uh, option available in our website so we have live counselors available every day for a specific time so you can log into our website and you can have a chat with the counselors and uh, another thing is that as i said apply as soon as possible to get the scholarships we have many universities providing high range of scholarships so we will definitely be able to guide you up for those okay and we are having upcoming events so uh, these events are something which helps students to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with the universities so we have events for usa on 21st of jan on 29th 9th of jan we have on 4th so we have different universities coming uh, we will be posting all the names of the universities coming in our website so you can either get in touch with your counselor or you can uh, directly log in to our website and book your uh, seat for the virtual sessions these are very important and this helps in many ways in identifying the perfect university for you in identifying how much scholarships you can get from that particular university you are eligible for the university or the scholarships or not these are very important points which you can get uh, which you can get clear by the conversation with the universities okay so this is what uh, we ha i have to tell about the tips for getting admissions for U uh, us universities now, if you have any questions, you can please ask me uh, now. Any questions, anyone? You can please ask questions if you have anything. I think you all are clear with uh, basic things. Now, if you have further any questions, you are definitely uh, welcome. Uh, like as I said, that all the branches are functional, so you can get in touch with your nearest branch. You can call up. You can get in touch with us with the I meet. You can email. So all this is all this will be helped over there as well. 
so this is uh, what i can say yeah so thanking you all of you thanks a lot for joining have a nice day